So after capacitation, the sperm um, prepare to, um, to penetrate the egg. And it's really interesting because the sperm can actually smell the egg if um, smell is a odorant that is in um, solution, it's actually maybe tasting, but they can actually find the egg and that is actually um, what allows them to navigate um, towards, the, um, towards the oocyte. Because you can imagine, remember that there are two ovaries and there's two fallopian tubes or uterine tubes. And so that has to go up to the right one. And so they can actually smell their way. They can detect that. So when we look at the, what happens when the sper sperm finally get to the egg, we can see um, that it has a lot of um, barriers to um, actually getting to the egg to fertilize it. And so actually it is not the first sperm that actually gets to fertilize the egg because the sperm actually have to work together to break down the barriers. So let's just look at this diagram because it's, it's a nice diagram. It has a lot of information. So we have here surrounding the oocyte, we have the corona radiata, which are those cells that are the, the granulosa cells that were part of the follicle when the um, oocyte was ovulated. We also see that this um, oocyte has not finished meiosis two. So it is actually arrested in meiotic metaphase two. So that meiosis two is not going to be completed until the sperm fertilize the egg. We also see this um, another barrier around the um, oocyte, which is called the zona pellucida. So that is a glycoprotein rich matrix that is going to become the fertilization membrane when the sperm um, fertilize the, um, the egg. So one of the things that happens is, is that the sperm have to essentially digest their way into or through those corona radiata. And it is actually a type of acid that you probably have heard of because sometimes it is found specifically in creams, um, skin creams. And this is what is called hyaluronic or hyaluronidase um, um, enzyme. So let me see if I can spell that. Um, So it's like hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronidase, ron, I, that's an N, dase enzyme is on the surface of the sperm head. Now this is not yet the acrosomal reaction, but this allows them to digest their way towards the zona pellucida. So it allows them to digest their way through the corona radiata. Okay. So here a sperm has come through and something else has to happen in order for the sperm to actually be able to move through the zona pellucida and attach to these receptors that are on the surface of the oocyte. So these are the receptors on the surface of the oocyte. The sperm needs to be um, have also proteins on its surface that is gonna allow it to bind to that. And then the egg is gonna allow the sperm to come in and then the chromosomes from the sperm and the egg combine together to produce um, a zygote. So let's go back to our acrosomal reaction. So this acrosomal reaction is due to an influx of calcium. So it's due to an influx of calcium ions into the sperm. This causes the release of enzymes from the acrosome. So 
So let's draw a little picture. So we have the sperm head and then we have the nucleus and that takes up most of the space. But then we have this little pouch of enzymes. Then we have the mid piece and we have the flagella, which is the tail. So let's just draw this acrosome as red. So that's my acrosome and it contains enzymes. And we talked about how capacitation makes the membrane um, so that it is gonna be able to be broken apart so that these enzymes can be released. So this is my acrosome. And so that acrosomal reaction can be shown here when we look at another diagram. Here. So this is showing um, the zona pellucida right here. So this is yellow instead of clear, like it was shown on the last diagram. So the acrosome, um, that membrane is kind of broken down and the sperm can digest its way in through the zona pellucida. It is going to have a receptor on its surface and it's binding to these receptors on the surface of the oocyte. And that binding of the receptors allows the sperm to move through. And so here you can see that most of the sperm actually does not go inside the egg. It is simply the sperm nucleus that makes its way inside the egg. And then weirdly, it expands. That nucleus actually gets bigger prior to the nuclei of the oocyte and the nuclei of the sperm coming together to allow for fertilization. And so this is a diagram that shows that process. The enzymes here are shown in red. So these enzymes allow the sperm to digest through the zona pellucida. So this allows for the sperm to digest through the zona pellucida to get to receptors on the surface of the oocyte. So we only want one sperm to penetrate the egg, even though there might be more than one, there probably is more than one that are getting ready to penetrate the egg. And so we are gonna talk about what prevents further sperm from entering the egg because that would actually make the zygote, the resulting zygote, inviable. To have a whole extra set of chromosomes would be that it's a triploid instead of a diploid. And so that um, is a cause of um, inviability in the developing um, embryo.